Hello, Sagittarius. This is your weekly love reading for July 25th through the 31st. And the energy that you are showing up as is the King of Pentacles, which is an energy of somebody that's very loyal, someone that's very hardworking, and they put in the effort. They understand that love takes effort and time to grow into something that will literally last the test of time, you know. Uh, it's a very positive energy. It's a very mature energy, regardless of the person's age. And the person that you're connected to has the Queen of Wands energy, which is a very... Uh, it's a very easy energy to really fall in love with. Very charismatic and generous and fun. Uh, the fire energy is almost childlike in a way, but very, the person is very mature also, like you are. But they're just very magnetic, and they're easily... It's very easy to get to be drawn to them... Uh, not only on a physical level, but just a heart level as well. So that feels like a really nice mix. Uh, the challenge here is the Two of Pentacles. So could be that you're trying to work things out together. There's some obstacle in the way here. Uh, you may be trying to make a decision on which way to move forward. I do feel like there, I, even though there isn't a Cups card here, I feel like the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands energy is really connected very well. And with the focus being the Ace of Cups, I do, I do see it now. <laughs> Here's the proof. Uh, so you do love this person. They love you. There's an emotional bond here. Uh, I feel like this relationship has been going it's not a really brand new relationship it's been going for a little bit of time but it's definitely in in whatever amount of time you've, you've definitely built a solid connection so we'll have to figure out what this what this challenge is all about here the recent past is the seven of pentacles and what I'm getting is that you feel like the two of you started off working together very hard on this relationship. It wasn't hard, but it, you were working at it and it didn't feel like you had to work hard. It felt kind of effortlessly that you just, it's almost like we planted these seeds and then before you know it, there's like sunflowers that are 10 feet tall and you felt like this person really had your back and you had theirs. Uh, I mean, it's a really nice energy for this reading. So let's see here. The future, the three of cups. You, uh, I feel like there's something missing uh, in your relationship and it could just be that maybe the two of you aren't going out as much. Maybe you're not having as much fun together when you go out. Maybe you're preoccupied with either, you know, building a home or just working, other responsibilities, and you really miss this. You want to do more of this with your, the person that you're attached to. The supportive energy here is the high priestess. Uh, I mean, this is just saying that this is a major, this is a major arcana, and so this is, this relationship to both of you, I feel like, is a very important relationship. I feel like it's a very strong relationship. It's uh, definitely something that it's like you're really guarded about your, your, you don't want anything to really interfere with this. You feel like you have a good thing. So whatever's coming up, is it's really hard for you to accept that there are challenges because this just feels so sacred really to you.
Uh, the, the hopes and fears is the two of swords. So there's definitely a lack of communication. And I, I believe that if you work on this, if the two of you, whether somebody has to apologize or whether the two of you just kind of put down the swords and say, hey, we love each other. Let's work this out. Let's not be in this unstable energy. We need to turn off the phones at night. We need to, you know, go out and have fun. And that's, that's the vibe that I'm getting. And I'm just using those as examples. You'll, you'll know what, what resonates with you, but there's definitely a communication issue. And that's what has you perplexed. It's kind of like, well, I don't really know how to get back to where we were because I don't really even know how this got this far or how this got to this point which overall there's a very it's, this is a very good positive reading so it's kind of like you want to nip it in the bud but you don't really know what the core issue is here so the, this is just this is just confirming that you're not spending as much time having fun together you're not spending as much time talking and when you don't do those things, it does interfere with your relationship. No matter how much you're committed, no matter how much you're working hard to build a life together, you have to go, you have to have fun, you have to make time for each other, you have to put down the phones, talk it out, you know. And the potential outcome is the temperance card. So this definitely, I love this card for the temperance card because it's, it shows how when two people come together, they have different energies, they have different ways of, of doing things, but if they really care about each other, if there's love there, then they really wanna to work together to make something. They wanna, they want to like perfect the recipe is what I'm seeing. And I feel like that the two of you really do want this kind of happy home together eventually if you're not already there. I feel like this is a very serious relationship, so it could be that you already are in a home together. Either way, the energy is just, it's such a nice energy that the, the little bumps in the road really can be fixed. So I think if you just start communicating and sharing your heart a little bit, Maybe trying to plan some events for the two of you to go to and uh, just get back to where you were. And I think you'll have a very positive future. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it.